Well, Bob's come out with a new electric skateboard. And I'm definitely curious as to your guys' opinion of this. What do you think about the improvements? I'm gonna lay down my opinion. Now you guys know that I made a video of the Vav 1 and I gave my opinion on it. And I don't think I was too far off. I actually had an owner of the Vav 1 comment on my video and told me I was right on point. My complaint was, is the quality of the hardware, and not only the quality of the hardware, how expectations were not met previously with Evolve electric skateboards. Now I'm sure if I took a hundred people and I said, here's a wooden skateboard and here's a carbon fiber Kevlar skateboard, which one do you think they're going to pick as to be in the stronger one that would be less likely to have issues with? Alright, so for me, it's interesting that Evolve hasn't announced a new carbon board yet, a new carbon fiber board yet, and that they've announced two wooden skateboards doesn't surprise me doesn't surprise me at all the other thing they also introduced is a 97 millimeter evolved GT wheel now not knowing anything or not knowing much about electric skateboards I did get the evolved 83 millimeter wheels the clearance on those are absolutely ridiculous those wheels can only be used on the smoothest surfaces. And that's it. If not, you're going to potentially damage your Evolve electric skateboard. Now I can safely say I've had the least amount of problems when I used the all-terrain setup. It kept the board off the ground, reduced road vibration, and gave me a much better experience. Unfortunately, I really don't like the all-terrain wheels I don't I mean it's okay but I'm old school I go for the skateboard feel and experience so I like the skateboard wheels 97 millimeter wheels are right on point that's what these boards should be sold with so I'm so happy that they came out with their own wheel and I'm definitely gonna get a pair I'm gonna try them out why not a lot of people think that I hate Evolve, and I don't hate Evolve. I am an Evolve skateboard owner, and I do like Evolve. I do support Evolve. I, I'm not bringing to light issues because I hate the company. That's for sure. But of course, a lot of people will come in and they only see one of my videos, and they quickly pass judgment on me. I think Evolve made all the right changes and I think they're moving forward in better light. Let's put it that way. I don't think they've done anything to improve the hardware. That's my opinion. Maybe they have, maybe they haven't. As I'm watching them unleash this Evolve GTX they're noting the gold color uh, motors, the detail on the front truck, the laser cut, grip tape. It looks great. It's wonderful. I don't care about any of that. Being a rider that uses the electric skateboard every single day, none of that pertains to me. I mean, of course I want it to look good. I'm spending a lot of money. But I want it to hold up. And I just wish some of these, and Evolve's not the only one that's guilty of this. I just wish some of these electric skateboard companies would go more out of their way to give you a better expectation. Just lay it out on the line and not be cryptic about things. Let's talk about the warranties. Let's talk about how you should be using your electric skateboard. If there's any good advice that I could give anybody on their electric skateboard, it's the fact that if you wouldn't kick your board over the surface 
don't power over it. And if you still decide to, don't blame the company for issues that you have. One of the number one causes of issues is road vibration. That can bring on a whole world of problems, okay? You eliminate the road vibration, you're not gonna have problems. It's impossible to eliminate it. You're not going to. In a lot of areas you ride, it's just gonna be a factor. Now, you could use the all-terrain wheels, but if you're like me and you prefer the skate wheels, you're not gonna use those. So you're gonna go over riding conditions that aren't ideal for your electric skateboard, and there's gonna be issues. I believe if the skateboard companies would just be more forward about this, there would be a lot less salty customers. That's all. I mean, it is what it is. I know a lot of people try to isolate me, and they try to make me think I'm the only one in the world that's had problems. But I know I'm not. There is a lot of people that had the same exact problems that I had. And one of the reasons why I make these videos is just to address those problems and help people out. It's not to dig on Evolve. It's not to make them look bad. It actually helps the company. If Evolve had customer service that acted like I did, most of their customers would be completely happy. And for real, that's why I'm able to procure deals with other companies to sell their product. Plain and simple. I, I leave little to the imagination and I try to give you the most direct and best answer that I possibly can. Of course, I give my opinion. I try to leave that out as much as I can and try to present facts and let you make your own opinion. And your opinion can't be wrong. I'm sorry if I ever made you feel like your opinion was wrong. If you come back and you're a viewer and you think that I made you feel like your opinion was wrong, that wasn't my goal and wasn't my idea. Works both ways though. My opinion can't be wrong either. It's just my opinion. So above GTX, what do you guys think? Move in the right direction? I think it is. I think it's definitely a move in the right direction. Knowing what the expectations are out of Evolve, I think I can expect this board to be a much better board than any previous boards they had, without a doubt. No doubt in my mind that they've worked to make it better. Make it so you have a better experience. Make it so your expectations are met. It is a beautiful board. Do I like the gold? No. I don't like gold. I don't think gold's the hottest color. Black is what I see being the most common choice. Any products I've ever sold in my entire life, black seems to be the choice that everybody makes. It is what it is. It's different though, I can tell you that. It's all I have right now on the Evolve GTX. Maybe we'll talk about it more in the future. We gotta wait for it to come out. I gotta wait for some more user feedback. Eventually, I'm gonna make another video on the Evolve 1. I think they did a wonderful job and the fact that they released the skateboard with one wheel. And I definitely wanna be able to talk about that a little bit because I've done my own trials on an Evolve electric skateboard with one motor. And I've done that with a couple different size motors and a couple different make motors. People I know are looking, when they shop, they go, how far does it go and how fast does it go? They're the first two contributing factors when purchasing an electric skateboard. They definitely shouldn't be the only two factors, but it is what it is. That's what they're looking for. How fast and how far. Bob does a very good job of being at the forefront and the leadership of that. The fastest and the farthest. But there's my opinion on it, and I'm anxious to hear what you guys have to say. That's all I got right now. Leave a comment below, like, dislike, share, and definitely make sure you're subscribed. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Joe Kaiser, over and out.